It's a fine Saturday for a good game of touch ball. And these boys really enjoy it, too. Look at them run. The game is fun. And it's fun to watch the game. Mr. Baxter has come to the playground to watch his boys play for a few minutes before calling them home for lunch. Hank Baxter is practically the star of the team. Jimmy Baxter, well, he doesn't seem to be having much fun. What's the matter, Jimmy? Couldn't you have blocked your man? Mr. Baxter can see that Jimmy isn't having as much fun as the others, and he wonders what he can do about that. All right, there's the pass from center, a short lateral to Hank. Nice play. There goes Hank. He's in the clear, there he goes. Touchdown. Hank certainly can play, can't he? It's no wonder he likes to play. His dad's certainly proud of him. Now, will they make the extra point? Hank's going to throw a pass to Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy, you're in the open. Oh, well, you'll have another chance. Why, what are you going to do now, Jimmy? Quit playing? You're not having a good time? Well, the game can go on. The others are having fun. But what about you, Jimmy? It isn't much fun when you're so tired and don't know how to play very well. Now it's time for lunch anyway. Hank has to come, too. My, wouldn't you think Hank would be tired by now? Not Hank. There's quite a difference that way between the two Baxter boys, isn't there? At lunch, Mr. Baxter is worrying about Jimmy. He wants Jimmy to be strong and happy like Hank. And Dad thinks, Jimmy seems so tired, and he can't be healthy if he eats like that. Well, it's plain to see that Jimmy needs to have more fun. Then he might feel better and eat better. Right after lunch, Hank goes to have some more fun. He gets to work on a model airplane he's making. You see, Hank has played outdoors all morning. Now he needs quiet, restful play like this to balance his active play. So it's good for him and good fun too. There. Now while the glue dries, Hank has another idea. Come on, Jimmy. Play a game of checkers. But Jimmy doesn't know how to play quiet games, either. Hank knows other things to do. Here's a good book he's been reading. Reading is a good way to have fun. Hank knows just lots of different ways to have fun. What about you, Jimmy? Feeling tired and not interested in anything? Well, Dad has a plan. Maybe you can get interested in football and have more fun if you learn to handle the ball. Get used to holding it and throwing it. As you learn how to play better, you'll have more fun. Come on out and see. Jimmy, you are discovering, aren't you, that as you learn how to play, it gets to be more fun. And on the next Saturday, 
Wonder how Jimmy will do today. Signals. Hep. Here comes a pass, Jimmy. Ooh, good catch. Oops, tag. That's a good game, though. And you're having more fun now that you've learned to play better. What's this? Time to go home already? You're not so tired today, are you, Jimmy? Well, as a matter of fact, Jimmy is pretty tired. But he doesn't know it. Jimmy doesn't want to stop. Now that he knows how to play the game, he's overdoing on active play. So, at lunch, Dad notices something else about Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy's eating better, but he seems a little nervous and jumpy, wolfing his food. And after lunch, Jimmy just doesn't settle down. He wants to practice football all the time. He just seems to have to keep going. But is he having fun? You can tell by looking at him that he's overtired and nervous. Dad has an idea he thinks will help Jimmy. It's fine to play actively, to play games like touch ball. That way you get lots of exercise. But you need some quiet play too, to help you relax and rest. Quiet play? What kind of quiet play? What about building model planes the way Hank does? No, you don't think that would be any fun, but still, touch ball wasn't much fun until you learned how. Maybe it would be fun building models, if you knew something about it. But here's Dad with something else he knows will be fun. It's a game to play. And quiet play can be fun, too, when you know how. Watch. Jimmy's learning to have quiet play as well as active play. Two kinds of fun every day. You see, you need both kinds of fun for balance. Here are some ways to have active fun. Playing basketball. Skipping rope. Playing ball games. Riding bicycles. Playing badminton. These are ways to have fun and get good exercise. And here are some ideas for quiet fun, too. Reading books. Making things. Learning more about the things around you. Perhaps start a collection of leaves or plants. There are all sorts of quiet games to play. Jimmy's learning the habits of fun every day with quiet, restful games and learning to enjoy helping at home. Work like this can be good exercise and fun, too. And, of course, he's learning to spend some time every day playing active outdoor games. So Jimmy is healthier and happier than ever before. Look at that, a touchdown. Good fun helps build good health.